another beautiful day in Queen City, Nevis. And we are here in the heart of Gingerland, reporting from BHC Media Television. Straight ahead, we have Old Manor, the historic Old Manor plantation. And um, as you can see, straight down, we have the David Freeman Center of Excellence, followed by Market Shop, and then we have Hanley's Road further down. But today, our focus will be Old Manor Estate. Now, this is a historic bridge uh, going over the gut. This is gut side below here and this bridge was built over the gut by slaves brought all the way from africa now old manor is a beautiful fortress built in the 1700s in the late 1700s and straight ahead we're going up the hill straight ahead to the old manor estate now, Old Manor was the home of estate owners. And many, many people don't know, we actually had a hospital up here. We had a smokehouse. We had a blacksmith. And um, we had living quarters for domestic workers, which were slaves at the time. And you can see there's a mill, there's look like a mill up here. The, this was, I guess they had sugar cane up here as well. And you can see it's a beautiful, look at all this land. And the property is on over 10 acres of land. Over 10 acres of land, that's a lot of land. And sadly this has been closed the old manor has been closed for around 20 years now and this is the main building we are approaching the main building wow look at this a lot of people don't know what a magnificent sight look at this this navy speaks straight ahead wow look at all this and I'm gonna walk up to the main building. You can see it's not that. It's this, they have beautiful stonework here still on wooden structure. Wow. Amazing. Look at all this. Look at the stonework. The amazing stonework. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at this sugar machinery. Look at the metal. What does this say? This said, I'm seeing 1868 D. Stewart and Co. Classau. This is, like, this is like a company from England. This was made, this metal structure here was made by a company from England in the industrial period. Wow. I have no idea what this is, but this looks like some type of um, steam machinery, maybe to steam sugar cane. Wow. This is actually an historical site, but um, it is privately owned. And the good news is Old Manor is for sale. Old Manor is for sale. Wow. Look at all this. Amazing. And um, I actually made a recommendation to the government several months ago. I advised the government to invest and purchase this fortress. Wow. Purchase this fortress and then we could redevelop this. We could redevelop all of this. into a multi-purpose facility. 
look at all of this. All this needs is um, some cleaning out and then we could redevelop all of this into a multi-purpose facility. We could have restaurants, we could have cottages, guest rooms, we could have conference rooms, we could have an area for small businesses. We could, we could the possibilities are endless. Look at this. This would be a nice uh, open area for parties. Look at all, oh, look at this. Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at all of this. Wow. Look at all of this. Absolutely fantastic. This is like Brimstone Hill and Sinkets. <laughs> Look at all this stonework. Magnificent property. This, this was a swimming pool just before it was closed. We had a hotel up here um, about over 20 years ago where we had a um, restaurant, we had guest rooms. This was an actual swimming pool. Um, I remember back in the day, uh, Culturama used to have events right up here. And we used to see the beautiful young ladies modeling all around here. And you could see this view. I'm going to have to come out a little bit to see the view of this wonderful fortress. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to switch to me to see if I could get a a video clip of me in the background. Look at Nevis P. Beautiful. Followed on this side, on this side straight over here, you have a massive area of land and you have the Methodist Church below. We could have a nice park. We could build a nice park um, there and we could have a walk where, where you walk straight across there into the park. And look at this. Let me see if I could get. Wow. Beautiful. This is in the heart of Gingerland. Can you believe this is in Gingerland? Wow. I just thought today that I would do this video because a lot of persons, um, they see the, the bridge, but they have no idea what is inside here. Oh my days. Amazing. Straight ahead here, um, you have the Rollins Road going up, um, about 100 meters down. And wow, let me see. Let me see if I could find any anything inside the bushes here. Wow. Wow. So I was saying earlier, the government can invest. Sometimes we have let me turn to me. We have we have the um we like to as a people wait on investors. We as a people like to wait on investors, but sometimes we have to invest in ourselves. That is why I appeal, I appealed, and I am appealing to the government, the Navis government or the federal government, please purchase this magnificent property. And because it's a historical site as well, we could have tourists um, coming in here, imagine we could have over a hundred jobs, create a hundred, over a hundred jobs right in here, in the heart of Gingerland. That is why I'm appealing to both the federal and the Nevis local government to purchase this property. Purchase it right away. And I'm seeing a, a, st a stone structure below here. Wow, look Look at this. This was hidden back here. We have this was hidden back here. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Wow. What I wonder what look at all this structure. 
look at all this structure. We need look at all this. Wow. This is this is quite a, a distance down as you can see. I'm gonna take the chance and go over here because I wanna see what's in here. Oh wow, can you see what's in here? Let me see if I get back over now. Oh, yes. Look at all this. Wow. This is a massive fortress. This is down, it look like on the ground. We're going on the ground here now. Look at this. I wonder if I could get out by this way. Let me try to get out on this side. Ah, I wonder. Look at this. Can anybody tell me what this was? I don't know. Wow. Look at all this. This is in Gingerland. The heart of Gingerland, the historic old manor plantation. This is where, this is our home. Could you imagine we have this in the heart of Gingerland? This is in the, this, this is in the, I, I wonder if this was a smokehouse. Maybe this was a smokehouse and we had a, a massive grill here. We could, we could have a smokehouse, open it again. We could have a smokehouse restaurant right here again. Oh, I could get out and you can see. Oh, I'm back where I started. You remember I came this way? I'm back where I started. Wow, on this side you have the old manor road straight ahead here. And again, we have old sugarcane material. Look at this historical site. This historical site. Oh, wonder what is in this room. Can you see what's in this room? Wow. Wow. Right back where we started. And then we have an upstairs and downstairs. All of this was um, occupied over 20 years ago. And it's not too late. All we have to do is to purchase this and redevelop it into, we could even have a section where we have a mall, where we have a mall here. A shopping center, anything. Let us invest in ourselves and at the same time invest in our future generation. So, anybody listening from the government, please, I'm appealing to you, purchase this right away. This is a steal of a deal, over 10 acres of land right here. This could be a restaurant right here, or a conference room, anything. And straight ahead we have, if you go about 100 meters down, you'll find market shop. I'm going to make my way out now. Wow. Make my way down. Oh, wow, we're back where we started. At the historic old manor plantation on the hill it's a windy day today look at the trees look at all these tall trees this is a sign of prosperity these trees are tall we do some nice landscaping here and we keep the trees this would be a beautiful scenery for tourists to come and locals to work. Wow. This is what I was talking about. We have over a hundred jobs sitting here. The possibilities are endless. Possibilities are endless. But we need to make a start. In anything you do in life, we have to make a start. Wow. Look at this gut. You can see a clear view of the gut here. Mm. Clear view of the gut. And I'm almost at the entrance. And of course, this is beyond Hanley reporting 
from BHC Media Television. Subscribe to our channel today. Click the red button at the bottom of the screen and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.